Hello everyone, Amud here from Retarget Company YouTube channel and I am here with another topic of Resursed. So in some previous videos we are learning about how to create dynamic payload using POJO classes right and we are using JSON include and JSON with different values like non-empty, non-default, non-null right. In this video we are going to learn something extra or some new notation okay that is called JSON include properties okay so let's go to the same POJO class which you are using in previous videos so this is the POJO class called employee and we have some of fields here and we have generated the getters and setters for it okay now suppose you have some requirement like out of these fields you just want some of the fields okay you don't want to include uh, some fields as part of your selection uh, and deselection process okay so for that suppose for example out of this five fields like name age merit address mobile number you just want that when serializing when you are serializing you just want to see name and age okay doesn't matter if if the you are providing any values or not but in json string you want only name and age okay so for that you can use a uh, use an annotation call json include properties okay in this properties it takes one array of values okay means you need to pass value equal to one array in this array to pass like what are the fields you want to be part of your json okay or which what are the fields you want to serialize or deserialize in the proper terms okay suppose i want only name and age okay so you need to give in double quotes and the field name should be same exactly the same okay means name and age okay now what will happen if i go to the class uh, where i'm using this pojo where i'm creating the object of employee class okay and we are setting up the values for all the fields okay and then uh let me convert it let me convert to a json string okay java application and you can see in the serialized string serialized uh, after the serialization or uh, after the mapping right we are seeing only two fields like name and age okay why because we have included we have used one annotation called json include properties and we are mentioning that we want only two fields so this annotation will will allow only two fields during the selection and deselection process okay as of now we are focusing more on selection realization so uh, let's focus more on that okay you can add any number of fields here like but this should be the same right it should not be greater than this like if you want married or address or mobile number you can mention it doesn't matter what type what data types it has doesn't matter you just need to file pass the field name here okay now you might be thinking since we are adding this property this annotation uh, at class level so this will be and we are also adding at the pojo level right so this means uh, it will be applicable for all the all the scenario all the instances then why we have extra fields like married address and mobile number if i just want two fields we are doesn't care about the other fields then simply remove it from the pojo only right why you want to have many things like this okay you can you can have that question in mind okay so what possible scenario i can see where i can use it first thing what you can do just consider like just consider uh, this this one is the base pojo base pojo class okay and i am removing i am removing this annotation from here and what i'll do i'll get another pojo class which will extend employee okay let me go to here and let me create another pojo class okay uh, some pojo employee skills okay suppose base class right uh, sorry child class and it will extend it will extend uh, employee okay 
employee so whatever fields we have in employee and whatever uh, properties we have that will be part of your employee skills also okay and we can have any extra proper extra property in employee skill as well like suppose private string skills okay let me generate get let me generate getter sense setters for it Let's go to source generate getter sense setters select all generate okay now instead of defining the what do you call that this include property in the major on uh, the base pojo class what you can do i can, i don't want in during the employee skills selection and resize i don't want all the fields but i i will not put it here at the employee pojo because it will impact everything right for every places what i can do here i can put it here okay so json include properties and you can have like value what i want i want just the name and i want skills right skills came from this uh, child class right okay so we are missing the curly braces because this is in array okay it's not mandatory that the base the child class should have a new property no if you want to just use it for the annotation purpose you can go for one empty base empty child class as well okay so what i did here simply i created another class which is uh, which is extending my employee okay and i have one field here called skills okay now i will go to the class where i'm using it and instead of employee i'll create the object of employee to employee uh, skills right okay and i can set the value for all the properties here because we have the setters method and i'm using employee employee dot set skills right which is coming from my child class i'll add java right okay so this time i created an object of employee skills not the employee okay child class now let me this uh, let me run this program and you can see the output of it okay you can see during, during the selection it it is only including the name and skills why because in the base class sorry in the child class we have added the property called json include properties which is using which is saying that i just want name which is coming from your base class and skills which is from child class okay so one possible use i can see of this annotation in this case like if you don't want to modify the actual pojo class you can create the subclass of it and you can put the annotation in it okay i want to cover one more point here like what will happen if you provide the wrong property name okay means we have the field name called skills and what will happen if we provide only skill here right okay so means uh, the scenario is like where we are passing the wrong or incorrect field name okay or um, uh, the field which which doesn't exist okay so what will happen in this case so what i did here i just uh, misspell the a property call skills here skill here and i will go and run my code okay if you see here there will it will not throw any error and it will include those fields which which uh, it is finding okay when it try to find when it tries to find the skill skills skill so which doesn't exist right there is no there is only for call skills no skill okay so in this case it will not throw any error it will simply exclude that field okay so so uh, that's all in this video and this is small concept and uh, mostly i don't see the usage of it much because the uh, non non null for non empty those are the important things and which you see in real time usage as well okay but for the knowledge purpose you should know like we have another annotation called json include properties which you can use in this way okay 
so if you have any doubt please comment on this video or if you want to send out a mail you can go to about section and you can find my email id there and you can send out a mail to me okay if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe share with others thank you everyone